the Tennessee in the morning of the MLS announcement. Formal announcement today at the Country Music Hall of Fame. Soccer City. Nashville, Nashville expected, expected to land one of, one of two, two spots, spots available, available for MLS expansion. They were right. Yes, Music City is officially a soccer city. Nashville gets the 24th franchise in MLS history and is a story of triumph and determination for a city that came from the back of the pack to the podium today. They are a pack of coyotes right through right out of the gates and they have staggered the champions. Not many people thought that it'd be possible we'd be on the stage, but, uh, but it happened. The good news is it really doesn't matter where you start. It matters where you finish, and we finished on top. In April of 2016, Don Garber, the commissioner of Major League Soccer, announced what he noted could be the league's final expansion round. MLS would add four teams to the fastest growing sports league in the country, expanding the league to 28 teams. At the time of the announcement, several cities were considered legitimate contenders. Nashville, Tennessee was not one of them. My name is Will Alexander. I'm the chief revenue officer of Nashville Soccer Club and the co-founder of the MLS to Nashville committee. I first got involved with Nashville Soccer Club in 2016 with a friend named Bill Haggerty when MLS announced its expansion round. Look, I love football, I love baseball, I love hockey, but I think that the love, the energy, and the enthusiasm for this sport is contagious. And this was an opportunity to bring an asset to Tennessee that I thought would be a huge enhancement to the quality of life. We had no idea what it took to try to bring an expansion team here, but we thought this is our only shot. Soccer is growing in popularity here in Tennessee, and many sports fans think Nashville would be the perfect fit for that MLS expansion. I reached out to the leadership at Major League Soccer and told them that we were interested. Then I flew to New York and met with them in May of 2016. They were very polite to me, but I think also they figured that Nashville was probably not going to make the cut. Other cities had been involved in the process and speaking with MLS for years. So I think the league had their mind made up about what the top prospects were and Nashville wasn't one of them. We would need a stadium, we'd need a strong ownership group. We'd need a lot of support from our city. We set about to do that. Music City is making a bid to be one of the next four teams, along with cities like Austin, Detroit, San Antonio, St. Louis, and Cincinnati. Could a city known for honky-tonks and bachelorette parties really support Major League Soccer? On October 8, 2016, two months after the committee launched their bid, a pre-scheduled game between Mexico and New Zealand was hosted in Nashville. El Tree won the game, but Nashville won the spotlight. Over 40,000 fans filled Nissan Stadium. The buzz around the game grew into a roar. The city of Nashville had bared an appetite for soccer the national naysayers could no longer overlook. I felt very confident that we could be quite competitive. Then the National Business Journal comes out with an article calling us the long shots. That didn't help us very much at the time. Now we were beginning to work with MLS at that point and we thought we had some traction, but we certainly weren't getting a lot of credit in the Business Journal. What's interesting is at that point it hadn't been announced, but we knew John Ingram was gonna come on and be the lead investor. So we were pretty confident that our fortunes would turn and, uh, and we, would, we would have a lot of traction. I thought we were catching soccer at the right moment in this country, and I really wanted to do something in Nashville, with Nashville, and for Nashville. Will and Bill had put together some pieces of the puzzle, but I can tell you at that time, I had no idea exactly how we were gonna do this. I just thought, I don't wanna regret not trying. On the next Dream Together, 
Nashville is the little city that could. You know, we got into the process pretty late. It was a long shot, but our city has been known to come from behind and find ways to wow people and win them over in a major way. And how did soccer first gain momentum in Nashville, well before MLS ever came into play? So I was just on Twitter and, and saw a conversation going on about soccer. And it was this guy, Chris Jones, who I didn't know, uh, who was rallying people through Twitter to pay $75 to be a part of this new thing called Nashville Football Club. And it seemed cool enough. So I signed up, ended up being the 86th person to do it. And uh, yeah, a little piece of history here. 